Hmm. A steering wheel that turns into a sword. Well, that just takes road rage to a whole new level. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Go Busters Dry Blade! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here you have the Dry Blade, you have Beaten Stag Buster, and they're gonna boost up for Buster, yeah! You have this really cool illustration here of Beat and Stag, you got Beat and Stag right up top here. On this side of the box we have Beat and Stag again, on the other side you have this kid who is just so happy he's having so much fun I'm going to kill some monsters yay on the bottom you have beaten stag again on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots it does this that the other it boosts up for buster and you have sad park man and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along, here we have the Dry Blade. This is one of the weapons of Beat and Stag Buster. Um, two of my favorite characters on the show. I love them. I thought I thought Stag was hilarious. I, I love that character. But um, yeah, this is their sword weapon here. And as you can see, here it is in its steering wheel mode, and this is what they use to hook up to their uh, their buster machines and control their buster machines. And um, yeah, very, very nicely done. Very cool. I think this is definitely my favorite role, role play toy out of all the ones that I have anyway. I don't have them all. But um, I really like this. We'll get in close here so you can see the details. And this is just a sticker right here with the, uh, this is uh, Stag's side right there. You can see some, some various readouts and whatnot. You have a LED light right there that will shine. Well, we get into the electronics, and on the other side you have stag, and again you get some more readouts and whatnot. Now you got power, lock, shuffle. Is that a shuffle? The radio on this thing? Sure. <laughs> but again, some more readouts and whatnot. Go Busters logo right there on the horn. Um, nice silver paint, lots of Bandai silver on this thing, as well as gold. Very nice gold paint, again, to represent both beat and stag, since they both use this. And on the back, you have your battery compartment right here. You get a little bit of molded detail. You get your little release button here for transformation. You got your on-off switch right there. The speaker is right there. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, obviously, in, in my hands, as you can see, it's it's pretty small to be a... This is more like a, a really small go-kart steering wheel. But, hey, it is what it is. Again, it's, it's meant for a child, so... <laughs> There you have that. So, um, let's just get into the noises that this makes, and this makes quite a lot of noises. So your on-off switch is right here. So turn it on. And you get the little lights there and your confirmation noise, and now it is on. Now this thing does have motion control, which is really really cool. So you can just push either of these two buttons right here to get things started. And now we're driving the beetle crane. So now you can actually steer this. And we just made a turn. And we can turn again. And after a couple turns, you will get some phrases. Nice control! And you got a couple different phrases here. Come on. I think it's every like three turns or something, I forget. I think I skipped over one. Yep. Subarashi! There you go. And you do have... You do have turn signals. <laughs> so you can make a right turn. Thank you. Make a left turn. You got a signal. That's just... That's what you're supposed to do, man. And you have your horn in the middle. 
shooting right there. And if you hold down the horn, you can go faster. And now you're speeding. If you hold it down again, you'll go even faster. Boom. Subarashi! There you go. Now switch over to the stag jet. You push both buttons. Now we're in the stag jet. And you can turn again. And you get some phrases from stag, even though that doesn't sound like him at all, but hey. And push the horn. I believe that's firing missiles. There you go. That, of course, if you hold the horn down again, you'll go faster. You go even faster. You can fire some guns. And you push the button. Oh. Yeah, we blew some stuff up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have translations for the uh, for the voice clips. Sorry about that, but I couldn't find any. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I honestly don't know how to stop this without just turning it off. So I'm just gonna turn it off. So <laughs> there you have the um, just some of the uh, the steering wheel functions. There is also a game in here which you can play, which is pretty cool. So we'll turn it back on. And to activate the game, you just want to hold down both buttons at the same time. Game mode. Let's go. Don't you know Buster vehicle need order? So now it's asking you to choose which Buster vehicle you want to use. So I'll go with the Beetle Crane for now. Roger. BC-04 Beetle. Shipped up. Tell you to turn, turn, and the light will tell you which way to turn, so. Good driving. Subarashi. Be careful. Kyotsukate. Michi ga fusakarete ru zo. Midori. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Now when both lights are flashing, it's telling you to fire missiles, so you just push the horn. Congratulations! Yatane! There you go. <laughs> Let's go. Don't you know Basta vehicle need order? And it just starts the game over again, so we'll do the stag jet, just so you can hear the noises. Okay, SJ-05, stag vehicle, take off! Take off! Shoot, shoot! So when it's telling you to shoot, shoot, you're gonna push the button. Cool! Cool! Shoot, shoot! Now it's telling you to turn, turn! Now 
not really driving, I'm flying, but whatever. Anyway, done! Are you ready? That's right. Let's blow some stuff up. Fire. Congratulations! Yatane! There you go. Let's go. Don't you know Again, I don't know how to actually stop it without just turning it off. But uh, <laughs> turn it back on there. So there you go. There you have all the noises that it makes um, in the steering wheel mode. And that's really cool. You do get a lot of playability just out of this one mode itself. And uh, that's pretty cool. I really do like that. So now let's go into sword mode. And to get into sword mode, you have this red button right here. You're just going to push that. It's going to release this section right here. So you're going to take this and you're going to swing it around like that. And you're going to take this bottom section here and bring this up right here. And that will, oops, <laughs> this will just clip in right there. Did it on its own, but you just want to clip that right in there, locks that in place. And then you're going to push this button right here, which will release that section right there. Bring it up. Get a confirmation noise right there. And then you just pull out the blade. And there you have it in sword mode. And I really do like the sword mode. I think this is my favorite Super Sentai roleplay sword. I just, I, I really like it. I just, I like the way it feels in the hand. It just has, it, it, it just has a nice sleek look to it. I mean, despite this, you know, this kind of chunk right here, it has a nice sleek look to it. And I just, I, I really, really like this sword mode. Very, very, shush. I really, really like it. Um, and just for a comparison, uh, here it is. With the uh, with the Sogon blade, and I don't know if we can how we can show this off here, but it's actually a bit longer than the uh, than the Sogon blade. Let's see if we can. There we go. Yeah, definitely a bit longer than the Sogon blade, which I appreciate very much. So there you go. So there you have for a comparison. Now this is also uh, motion controlled, and if you just take the sword and just swing it, hey, how dare you turn off? What happened? Oh, was that noise I was making powering down? How dare you power down? You don't power down on me. How dare you? How dare you? There we go. But when you swing it, you actually get a slashy noise. It doesn't really... It, it kind of sort of works if you do it sideways, but it's really meant for a, for a downward slash. Let me raise the camera up a little bit here. So I have room to operate. Yeah, it, it's really meant to work with a uh, with a downward slash. You can see the lights go off there. Come on. It doesn't always want to work. There we go. You have to give it like a good flick. It could just be mine. I don't know. But like I said, like the sideways doesn't really work. It's really meant more for a uh, for a downward slash. You kind of rapid fire it. Kinda. It's a little finicky. But, there you go. Now you do have three separate final attacks here. So you can do an attack for a beat. So you just push his button. It's time for beat attack. Time for beat attack. And then you just slash down. Right there, and you have an attack for stag, so just push stag's button. It's time for stag attack! Time for stag attack! Get your standby music, and slash down. Right there, and if you want to boost up for Buster, you just press the horn. And just slash down. And there you go. So you get your three separate final attacks, which is really, really cool. So, yeah. So there you have that. <laughs> 
And that's basically it. That's all that it does. So we'll just set this down and get back down to ground level here. Yeah. So there you have it. There you have the dry blade. Um, like I said, I, I think this is my favorite uh, Go Busters roleplay toy. Again, I don't own them all, but of all the roleplay toys that I do have from this series... And that's it powering down, apparently. <laughs> I just learned that <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I, I don't own all of the Go Busters roleplay toys, but of all the ones that I do own, this is definitely my favorite. This has a lot of playability to it. I love that it has so many noises just in the steering wheel mode alone. And you even have games that you can play. And uh, it's really cool. It just it has a lot of playability to it, and I really, really like it. Very, very cool. And like I said, I just as a sword weapon, I just I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. Um, I, I just really, really like this. Definitely my favorite roleplay toy from this uh, series, as far as the ones that I own, anyway. Um, really, really dig it. Very cool. Now I did find this on uh, Mandarake, and I found a lot of my GoBuster stuff on Mandarake because it's pretty cheap on Mandarake. So I'll put a link to their site in the description down below if you want to check them out if you're interested in any of this stuff or any tokusatsu stuff because they have tons of it um, and anime stuff and all kinds of stuff there. So you can check out Mandarake. Of course, there are also sites like HLJ, uh, AmiAmi, Hobby Search, CS Toys. There are lots of sites that specialize in stuff like this if you are interested in it. Of course, there's always, you know, eBay, Amazon, but be wary of how their sellers price things. You know, buyer beware when it comes to that. But um, either way, uh, like I said, I, I think this is like my favorite roleplay toy that I own anyway from this series. Very, very cool stuff. I think that's it. And of course, BigBadToyStore.com does have Super Sentai and Power Ranger items. You can always check them out, linked in the description down below. And you can check out my Go Busters playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's pretty much it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Go Busters Dry Blade, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face!